Hey, Papa. Hey. What are you doing? Standing knee deep in a beautiful river right now, and it's a blizzard outside. Little feelings in there. Or... Yep. I'll give you a call from time to time. I just always know you're up to something good. It's good to hear your voice. Yo, what is going on guys? Chiefs here, and I'm so stoked to bring you guys this video today. I am in a freaking blizzard right now. There's snow sticking everywhere. Probably one of the last times we get snow for a little bit. We've been getting a lot of warm weather, so I'm gonna try to make this last, and hopefully we can get like one or two fish today, but I'm gonna be bringing you guys on an adventure. I'm recording for my phase one top 20 submission as well, so be on the lookout for that. Maybe it already dropped, I'm not sure. I'm just happy to be here at this point. This is incredible, seriously. Fish. There it is. There it is. I knew it. Oh, let's go. I knew it, dude. I freaking knew it. Gotta get this thing out of the trees, man. It's coming up. There he is. Great fish. Quality fish. I don't got a knot. We might have to tail him. It's a nice, gorgeous winter fish. We got a hen right there. Took our chartreuse spawn bag, the staple color for Michigan winter streams, at least for me. What color works the best for you guys? One last look at her, and then we're going to send her off. Hey, Papa. How you doing? How you doing? I'm standing, standing knee deep in a beautiful river right now, and it's a blizzard outside. I love it. <laughs> uh -oh. Got a lot of snow coming down all of a sudden. Just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I know. It was like 60 degrees the last two days, and then freaking we got four yeah. inches of snow coming now. It's like what? That's how it is in March. It's like you don't like it. Wait 10 minutes. Little steelies in there? Or? Yep, I just I just landed one that was probably like four or five pounds. I'll give you a call from time to time. I just always know you're up to something good. It's good to hear your voice. That was the old man. That was my grandpa. He's the one that kind of got me into this whole salmon steelhead thing. He used to shred the west side of Michigan chasing trout and all over the UP. And I owe a lot of credit to him for doing what I do. It's kind of funny that he called me in the middle of the, in the middle of the river. I haven't talked to him in a little while. Fish. Fish in that secondary water, baby. We got the bonus brown trout. It's got just the beautiful winter colors on it. Look at that fish. Look at that fish right there. That's so beautiful, man. Just perfect colors on it. Flawless fish. And back into the rapids. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, it's a big one. It's a big one. 
It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh my god. 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 I knew it. 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 It's a nice one. Let's go. This is a nice fish, guys. Holy crap. Oh my god, dude. Oh, oh my god. This is a freaking nice one. I got a baby. I got a baby this. I got a baby this fish. Oh yeah, this is this is 10, 12 pounds at least. It might be bigger, guys. I just see a big flash in the hole. I feel like my best bet is if I beach him over here. If I can get him upstream, I can beach him. That's gonna be my best bet. This is a nice fish, guys. This is a very nice fish. There's just a huge log jam down here, and I just don't know if I'm gonna freak him. I'm not sure what bead he's hooked on. Oh, no, he's wrapped. I can't tell what bead he's on. Oh, he's on the top. Oh my god. It's all freaking jack. Oh my god, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Work with me. Please work with me. Let's freaking go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's freaking go! Holy crap! Hooked right in the corner of the mouth on the chartreuse bead. I'm gonna let you go, dude. Don't worry. It ain't over yet. I'm gonna let you spawn this year. Easily a freaking 10 pounder at least. Nice kipe on them. Just freaking sick, dude. This is as good as it gets right here, guys. Nice. Michigan freaking steelhead right there, bro. Nice Michigan steelhead right there. Hardest part right here, man. The best, but the hardest part right here. he goes man you guys have no idea how stoked i am about that fish all the conditions were up against me today i really was not thinking about going fishing and it has turned out to be an absolutely insane day i'm gonna bring you guys streamside i'm gonna try out these new meals peak refuels I have a little bit more macronutrients in it 44 grams of protein i tried the mountain house ones before it was really good but then i saw this one i was like all right let's just try this one instead um you know bust out the jet boiler really quick and you know, make some quick lunch and get back to fishing didn't really eat any breakfast today. Get the jet boil. What do we got? Nice. So simple, man. All you need is this little canister. Sits right on top of this. I feel like I need a little more water, but yeah, I'm gonna go on the. I'm gonna add a touch more water. Just put a little snow in there, I guess. This would be on the safe side. Super easy though, man. This thing, I don't want the flame touching snow. This thing is so easy to set up though. All you gotta do is just freaking plop it in, screw it. Turn this little thing right here. Got propane. Oh, damn. Looks like I sliced my finger. Dang, dude, where did I cut myself? I just freaking sliced my finger open. Water's already starting to bubble. Nice. I think our water's, ow, yeah, it's boiling. Dude, I can't just keep hurting myself. What the heck is this, man? What the heck? All right, take the oxygen packet out. I imagine we probably should do that. Now we have to let this sit for 10 minutes, so I guess we have to fish again. Cut myself, burning myself. What the heck is going on, man? Okay. 
All right, now we let it dry. Or dry, what am I saying? Now we, now we let it cook. What am I saying right now? Literally, what am I doing? It is a blizzard out here, man. Oh my God. It's so, I, I, I absolutely love this thing though, guys. Like, so simple. You get the propane burner out of it. You get this, you get this like three cup mug right here. You get the propane burner. Fits right in there. You got the stand. Put the lid right on top. Boom. Get the bottom, cover it up. There you have it. And you can make pretty much food anywhere on the go. All you need is this little can of propane and a meal. And you got food in within 15 minutes. It boils water in two to three minutes. Pour it in here. These are freeze dried meals. You let them sit for 10, 15 minutes, stir them up and they're good to go, so. All right, first, first initial taste impressions, here we go. There it is. Just gonna stir it up a little bit more. It's not bad. I'm really surprised how they've like, made these meals that good i always thought like these would just freaking suck but it's actually really good i'm very surprised how good these meals are full package 850 calories 44 grams of fat 65 grams of carbs 44 grams of protein real that's that's honestly not terrible it's a little high in fat and sodium but I'm okay with it, especially like considering the fact that when I'm going to be eating these things, I'm just going to be burning energy and just hiking around the river anyway, so. It's really not that bad, in my opinion. I would recommend you the chicken coconut curry. I think I'm going to get this brand again, too. I just like the, it's better macronutrient density than the other ones I've seen, so. If you guys have any recommended uh, dishes, let me know. I think we just hooked up on a scam here. This looks like just a super slender body rocket, flat back fin, and there's no adipose fin. All right guys, I'm just gonna give a quick demo on the setup that I've been running today. I've got a five inch John Milner center pin reel. It's a Kingfisher. I got the Mags custom rod. It's 11 and a half foot RX-7 rain shadow blank. And right now I'm running a double bead rig. I was running spawn earlier, but we have a, I believe this is a Starburst. I don't remember what this is actually. This is a, this is a slay and steel bead right here. Pretty sure it's Starburst or something like that. And then I have another chartreuse bead right here. I honestly have no idea who makes this bead. We got the 65 pound barrel swivel from VMC. Three size seven split shot. Going up to my bobber, we've got a Brian Lee Smith custom float right here with two size seven split shot directly beneath it. And I'm running about 
I don't know, say two and a half foot to my bulk shot. And then my overall bead leader is probably another two and a half, three feet long. So super simple rig. I hate running beads, but they freaking work. I, I'm usually bait or die, spawn bags or die, but um, as you guys can see today, both have been effective. I got one fish, I got that hen on spawn, and then uh, I got that nice buck on a chartreuse bead, which by the way, both colors have been chartreuse today. The bag was chartreuse and the beads were chartreuse. So food for thought. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the rig, super basic. I like running bulk shot on this because the uh, the beads have a lot of neutral buoyancy. So if there's a fast current, um, they're going to be all over the place. So I like to anchor them down. I like to get that. I like to get those beads down as quick as possible, so then they can do their action underneath the water instead of rising to the top. So um, I like running a bulk shot rig for for beads, especially. But um, some people run a tapered shot pattern to like a single bead, you know, a single larger bead or something like that. But um, this is what's working. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I just want to say really quickly, thank you guys for sticking with me, even throughout all this phase one stuff. I know a lot of it's kind of confusing for some of you guys, and you might not quite understand what it is quite yet, but um, I'm not sure if I'm uploading this video before my next phase one submission, but if you guys haven't already seen, I made it into the top 100, which is a huge achievement. And uh, basically what it is, is a open recruitment challenge to join this organization i've been grinding to join as a kid if you win it you win a million dollars you win a quarter million dollar salary with with this company called g fuel and you win a brand new 2021 nissan gtr so we placed in the top 100 i'm going to be making another submission video to try to make it into the top 20. maybe you guys have already seen the video i'm not sure like i said i'm not sure if this video is going to come out before or after i submit that response but i just want to say thanks to everybody that's been sticking with me on that i know it's a lot different and um going back to our roots a little bit with this video so i hope you guys enjoyed the steelhead fishing if you did leave a like comment subscribe if you guys want to see anything else in the future let me know but that's going to be it for today's video and i hope you guys enjoy it man peace Jam on the board.